Uh, this is your first example. This is your first example on your under motion. I've taken this example from the past paper of April 2018. So it has hit our problem. A point on the circumference of a wheel has a velocity of 108 km per hour and then the wheel has a diameter of 80 cm. And then your speed increase from 108 to 126 km per hour in 50 seconds. So you have your initial angular velocity, your final, uh, the diameter of the wheel, the time it took from 108 to 126. Now, you need to calculate your final initial angular velocities. You need to calculate angular acceleration uh, from 108 to 126. And then you need to calculate your angular displacement. Now, how are we going to approach our problem? We first going to write our data down. We are given uh, your first, I mean, linear velocity. It's 108 kilometer per hour, convert to kilometer, your 108 kilometer per hour to meters per second. So it will be So your initial angular velocity is 80. I mean linear velocity. You are also given your final. So you consider this as an initial with you. And then this one is your final. Uh, eighty five. Your diameter from 80 centimeter to 80 meter is 0 0.8. Time it took it 50 seconds. So these are these are the four things that you are given. So you write your data down. Number one. How will you calculate uh, your from this equation? How you gonna calculate your initial angular velocity, your final angular velocity, and then uh, because they ask, they ask your final angular velocity, and initial angular velocity. So you have to convert your initial to final. Out of this equation, I should have added your bridge equation, which is uh, v is equal to angular arm. This is so. This are your bridge equation. You have it. You 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 know them. Your three bridge equations. How you gonna convert your angular to linear? You gonna use your bridge equation. Uh, your first equation says v is equal to uh, angular r. You're dealing with your initial velocity, so this is u. And then your u is 30 is equal to angular multiplied by d over 2, which is 0 0.4. Your radius of your diameter. Then you get your initial angular velocity. Seventy-five right per second. So this is your initial angular velocity. Your final angular velocity still the same equation. V is equal to angular two multiplied by R. Uh, uh, your thirty-five is equal to angular 2 and pi by 0 
So this is your initial angular velocity, and this is your final angular velocity. You just use your, your bridge equation. Number two, they want the angular acceleration. Now you have your initial angular velocity, you have your final angular velocity, and then uh, you have your time taken. What is your, what each equation you can use? You can just take this equation. Your only unknown is your angular acceleration. So for number two, final angular velocity is equal to initial angular velocity plus angular acceleration time taken. Making your angular acceleration a subject of the formula. Uh, this is how it should look like. Then you have your final, which is 87.5 minus your initial 75 divided by your time taken 50 seconds. You get your initial uh, red per second squared. So this is your angular acceleration. Then the last equation, they want your angular displacement. Again, you now have your angular acceleration, you have your initial angular velocity, you have your final angular velocity, you have your time taken. You check from the equation, which equation you can use. Uh, you can just take your equation, your, th your third equation. This one will also work, but uh, it's already the subject of the formula, then your angular displacement, uh, initial angular velocity, time taken, plus half angular acceleration, time squared. It will be your initial angular velocity is 75. Time, 50 second, plus half, 0 0.25, 50 squared. You get your angular displacement. So this is your angular displacement in radians. So you just check your equations, check which equation you can use, apply equations, first write your data down, and then check your applicable table equations you can use to solve the problem. This is your second example. This is, this is the first example. Second and last example is coming based on angular uh, 